Hello everyone and welcome to the fourth snapshot video we have covered this week. It is 18W10D. Can you believe it? And we got another snapshot with some more new features in it. Now, just been going through the patch notes, and the very first line is that they have allowed more blocks to have water in them. So I came over here to try out all of the blocks, and much to my surprise, none of them had changed. What is this? Uh, actually, it's some sort of bug, because I'm using the world from the previous video, right? If I place ladders over here, aha, you can see that actually they can be placed underwater. That's super cool. I wonder how interacting with them works. Oh, they kind of... Hmm. I think we might be getting like a, a mix of both there. Let's build this up a little bit. So I've tried all of the blocks down here, and the ones that you can see on my hotbar are the ones that actually uh, work, with exception to the cobblestone wall. If I go and place that over here... Uh, that one doesn't. So we've got some signs. Let's look at that bug again, you know, because I came in and I went like that. <laughs> uh, if you go and place it in like a new area, um, it'll be just fine. So trapdoors as well can now be placed underwater. That's fantastic for building. Trapdoors are really great on the sides of walls and uh, ender chests as well. Now forgive me if this has always been possible. I've never tried to put item frames and paintings underwater, uh, but they will now happily hang out down here and not pop off. Maybe it's different with flowing water, but that is seriously cool. As for these other things, though, they've yet to change. So those are the only ones that you can now place underwater at this point in time. My friends, now that we've checked out that, let's get to the exciting stuff. This is the snapshot that has coral reefs in the game for the first time. We are currently in a deep ocean and we're about to go into a warm ocean where you have a chance of finding these coral reefs. These are going to be very rare is the idea. They're only going to be found in the warm ocean biome. And uh, as we just go around the edge here, you'll see that the coral is spaced out loosely. So I got a quote from Professor Mobius, who I think has been working on introducing the coral reefs, saying, should be relatively rare, and yet yeah, it follows the flower noise map, so it will not be all over the biome. It decreases in intensity when you reach the border of the biome. So if we head in this direction, you can see that the coral gets a little bit more dispersed. And if we go behind us and look into the middle of this area, uh, yeah, absolutely fantastic looking, isn't it? Um, I'm not entirely sold on the colours. It feels, I don't know, a little bit too childish and playful. But then again, a coral reef is very colourful. I was looking up pictures of it after I made a video about a screenshot of the coral reef, which is on my second channel, um, where I post little news updates for Minecraft. I'm plugging the second channel. No, let's get back on track. Um, <laughs> yeah, and I just feel like these colours don't quite match the vibe of some of the other coral reefs. But I still think it looks fantastic. I still think this is wonderful. And uh, they've done a terrific job with it. Oh, this looks so cool. Now, when it comes to rarity, I don't know really how rare these are. I got this seed and the location that we're at right here from a post on Reddit. So I came straight over here to look at it. I didn't have to do any flying around um, to find something. Is that like another bit of coral reef just over here? Because that's not part of the same coral reef, right? Oh, that's just an underwater ruin. So I can't comment on the rarity of these at the moment. We've just come straight over here to check it out. Uh, let's plunge underwater and have a little look at it again. This area, man, these coral reefs, they, they do look fantastic, don't they? So leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of the coral reef. It would be nice to hear your opinions on it. I'm actually going to go back over there at the end of the video. Uh, there were some observations that I made that I didn't really talk about, so I want to go uh, look at it again for sure. Right now, I just wanted to show you some of the other things. This is kind of related to yesterday's snapshot, and if you're not subscribed to the channel and you want to keep up with all the snapshots, we've had four this week, and I've covered every single one of them. And in yesterday's snapshot, uh, we had this behavior, except the water would flow out the the opposite side as well so now I'm very curious about how this works so you've seen that it flows out the side uh, where there is a gap now let's say we did that and this would the water flow out both sides it does that's super cool I really like this these changes to the water mechanics are fantastic gonna mess around with that just a little bit more see if there's uh, anything more to it than just messing around with the stair block like I did there. Um, there are other changes as well. So if we put water inside of a cauldron and we take a dyed shulker box and right click on it with the cauldron, it gets replaced with a normal shulker box. So you can undye your shulker boxes. Nice little feature. It uses up one bit of the cauldron and of course you have three uses for every water bucket 
in a cauldron. Now in yesterday's snapshot, the phantom was classified as an undead mob, which meant that you could hurt it with, uh, with healing potions and you could harm it. Sorry, you could hurt it with healing potions and you could heal it with harming potions. Confusing, isn't it? Um, that meant that Smite did more damage to them. And unlike other undead mobs, they didn't burn in the daytime. And you can now see that's what happens. Poor little fella. Although he is, you know, in, in this game to try and kill you. So maybe not support. Uh, that one, okay. It takes a moment for it to start bur burning. I was half wondering if because it was flying it wouldn't burn. Um, that one there was sort of sulking around on the ground, wasn't it? Just to confirm, they do burn when they're flying. You may also notice that my clouds have now been turned on. I usually play with these off. There is a patch note that cloud rendering has been optimized. To what extent that will improve the game's performance? I'm going to guess it's really minimal, just something they wanted to take note of. Uh, anyway, this is currently still in the snapshot. So I don't know if Mojang have officially commented yet on this is going to stay or not. Putting a source block of water inside <laughs> another block and being able to move it with pistons. That is extremely cool and I hope it stays. Here we are checking out another coral reef. We're in a different world with a different seed. And this one is a lot larger. Now there is something that I've been doing every single snapshot video and I keep forgetting to mention it. I always open up the world, I get the seed and I go and see what it looks like in Minecraft 1.12. And it is still the same world. If you were to load this up. In 1.12, the train would be very similar, except we wouldn't have all of the new features. So we're not going to have any of those hideous borders. Thank goodness. Uh, I'm really pleased with the way Mojang have done that. Now, where I've been observing the corals, there are like three different things that I've observed. First of all, sometimes you get these big chunks like this that remind me of uh, the red mushroom. And it's kind of like you could pop yourself inside and make a little home in there. Um, you get quite a lot of these boxes. They come in different sizes. Then you get these tree-like branches coming out of the ground. Um, this one's split up into four. I think that's the first time I've noticed that. Mostly it's like three or two branches like over here. This one has three. And then sometimes you get them leaning over to the side a little bit across the ground. And sometimes you get little blobs of blocks together. Those seem to be like the three features that I pick out when I'm going around and uh, looking at this. And I don't know how this stuff is done, if they're structure files for corals. I haven't had the time to look into that. Um, I'm pretty sure, though, my guess would be this is all sort of done just straight out of the game code. But anyway, that is where we're going to wrap up the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, leave a like and subscribe to the channel as well if you ain't already. Thanks for watching this snapshot video, and I'm sure I'll see you soon with another one. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.